When our people behave in unreasonable ways, they think spirits have taken, uh, taken over. That's why they never get straightened out. The first step that you need to see is this. You don't know where it is, but it acts up all the time, isn't it? If you see this, the moments of horror will go down by itself. You don't have to do anything. Somebody else's or yours? Huh? Somebody else's or yours? <laughs> oh, in a moment we can handle it. If you just show me where it is, I'll just shoot it right away. Where is it? How do you know it's there? Maybe you're just nasty. No. See, it's like this. Whenever you behave in a pleasant manner, what's your name? Huh? Balyan? Bayan? Okay. Whenever you behave in a pleasant manner, you're Bayan. Whenever you behave in an unpleasant manner, it is Mr. Ego. It's a sure way to deceive yourself for the rest of your life. You just have to see. This is Isha Yoga. You just have to see. If you're pleasant, it's you. If you're unpleasant, it's you. If you see this, you wouldn't like the unpleasant part of who you are. You'll deal with it. There's nothing to deal with it. Are you unpleasant right now? No, you just have to stay like this, that's all. It doesn't take anything, it just takes free breathing, that's all, to be pleasant. Does it take some other commodity to become pleasant? No, 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 just oxygen, that's all. Only when oxygen is scarce, you could become, body can become unpleasant. Otherwise, you can sit here and die pleasantly, you know? Really? Tell me what other ingredient do you need to be pleasant? Nothing. No, it is only because you think there is some other entity which makes you unpleasant, like ego. It is just like saying, I'm possessed. When our people behave in unreasonable ways, they think spirits have taken, uh, taken over. No, they don't want to see that they're unreasonable people. That's why they never get well. That's why they never get straightened out. The first step that you need to see is this. If I'm pleasant, it's me. If I'm unpleasant, it's me. If I'm wonderful, it's me. If I'm horrible, it's me. If you see this, you will stamp out the horror quite efficiently. You can't stay with it for too long. Because it is another spirit called ego. It's an elf called ego. It goes on and on and on endlessly. See, this is a very good trick. You asked a question about ego. Now I ask you, where is it? You say, I don't know. It's a damn good trick. <laughs> you don't know where it is, but it acts up all the time. Isn't it? So it's a trick. There is no ego, there is just you. Sometimes pleasant, sometimes unpleasant, sometimes beautiful, sometimes horrible. If you see this, the moments of horror will go down by itself. You don't have to do anything. You just don't have to do anything. If you see it's me who is being horrible, it will start going down. You think I'm horrible because of my ego or usually because of somebody, it'll never ever go down. You will remain horror the rest of your life or maybe beyond. <laughs> and maybe beyond, you know, <laughs> you may find employment in hell. That's one, see that is one good thing about being horrible. If you torture yourself efficiently and everybody around you, they may give you employment in hell. In heaven, there is no employment because there is nothing to do. They won't choose me for employment in hell. I really have to get hard with people, maybe then they will, but 
you'll find employment. If you don't stop deceiving yourself with this ego business, it's better to be unemployed in hell, I'm telling you. Everybody will be good if you're unemployed in hell, isn't it? So please, uh, don't start practicing here for employment in hell. Don't start practicing unpleasantness here because you think you're practicing for employment in future. After death at least, let's have a vacation. Not at work right now. <laughs> people who are, have nothing to do right now <laughs> or people who are refusing to do anything worthwhile right now are seeking employment after death. No, no, do everything that you have to do now. After death, let's have a vacation. Hmm? You must be so pleasant and useless that nobody should give you a job out there.